Howdy folks, my DIY adage of if it's not broken it soon will be has come true once again. This time to our over-the-counter top uh, microwave. Last night when the wife was cooking dinner, when she went to hit the start button, uh, we both heard this pop. Display went completely dead, no power at all. Uh, lights went out, uh, so you know now it's even hard to uh, see what you're cooking on the cooktop. Now that's the one-ish problem with these over-the-counter uh, microwaves. When they crap out like this, you're losing three functions. You know, not just the microwave, you've lost your lighting and you've lost your exhaust fans. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of important to get fixed. So this is going to be a two-part video. Um, first part is going to be removing it, show you how that's done if you want to take one of these out. They're all similar. And the second part, we will get into actually seeing what uh, died in it. So the first thing to check, of course, is the easy stuff. I already went downstairs to check if the breaker is tripped. It hasn't. So we'll just go up into the cabinets where it's plugged in uh, just to make sure there's power at the plug outlet. I'm sure there is, but that's an easy thing to check. And we've got to get up there anyways to get the screws out. And then probably what I'm going to do as well um, is we'll put a uh, big blanket over top of the cooktop just in case something happens. If I, you know, drop this or whatever, it'll be cushioned and we won't take out two appliances in one weekend. So up in the count cabinet above the microwave, there is, uh, there's the plug and we're definitely getting our 120 volts. There's nothing wrong with the plug. So we're going to unplug this. This is our microwave plug. We're going to have to cut this zip tie. There's the hole that it goes through and there's one of the screws there and over in the other corner is the other screw and this big abortion here is just the ducting that ducts it outside when i put this in i never did enclose this so that's what all that is in case you're wondering one thing you may want to check on yours before you go to take it out i had installed this microwave before i had put this backsplash on and of course now there is grout up here so that might make removal a little more difficult it's probably going to crack the grout a bit. I may have to re-grout or put caulking up here afterwards. Uh, so yeah, check yours too. If there's caulking up there, you probably want to pre-cut it with a utility knife just so it's uh, not hung up. And now's a good time to take the grease filters out. Uh, throw these in the dishwasher. That's the easiest way to clean these things. Just taking the uh, turntable out. The less weight you have to have in this thing when you remove it, the better. Okay, so we got to take these screws out. I believe these things are in a bracket, but if you're taking the screw out and you're feeling weight on the screw, um, yeah, you're going to want another person holding it from underneath. But these are coming out without weight on them. So we're assuming it's held in by a bracket of some sort. I'm just going to zip these out with my drill real quick. Long. Okay, and the cord, we've got it unraveled so it can go right through the hole. So it's go time. Got the big blanket underneath in case we drop this heavy boat anchor right through the cooktop. Got the wife ready? <laughs> No, so this thing should just slide off, right? Supposedly. But it's not. How come? It's stuck on something still. Oh, do you think that ducting? Probably. I would think you would have it fastened. You wouldn't want it all loose. Yeah, I think we had to screw that in, didn't we? I would think so. See? There's a reason why I didn't enclose that. It would even have been a bigger son of a bitch job. Yeah. Makes sense why you left it all yep. lovely okay. like that. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, off it comes. Back to more work. Okay, so we've got this plastic off. Just... Off like so. So that's on one of these flex ducts. Gloves on that insulation. Ooh, bent that all to hell. But that's definitely what's keeping it from coming out. 
Now this bracket, there's two little Phillips screws holding this, uh, this duct adapter on. So I'm going to have to get this duct adapter off. Okay, so I've got these two screws out. And yep, that's what was keeping us blocked. So I'll have to wash that up, clean it up. Now it should come out, right? I'm hoping. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's try this again. Now let's just make sure that cord's coming through. It's not getting stuck on anything. Good. Well, that's not bad. Okay. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just take it down to the garage. And your part in this is done. See ya, folks. In case anyone's wondering what that bracket looks like, that's it there. And yeah, that, uh, that duct work that was in here, and that's what was hanging up in the hole. And yeah, you should probably have gloves on when you do this. <laughs>